And we're here to bring you Resident Evil 2 Remake. This is a really cool game. It came out Friday, this last Friday. You probably saw a lot of this going on. Um, a lot of streams going on with this, you know, different run-throughs. And, and this is actually the second run-through with Claire. So there's basically two run-throughs, A and B, or the first scenario, second scenario. And you play with one character, you run through it, you beat it. And then that allows you to run as a second character, the whatever one you didn't pick the first first time, basically Claire or Leon. And then you, it's it's pretty much the same in terms of you running through the same building, but there are actually a few locations. Items are in different different areas. You kind of get the true ending of Resident Evil 2 when you play both A and B scenarios, since that other character is experiencing different things at the same time as as the one that you previously ran as. So, with this in mind, or that being said, I am going to... Hey, Baron. I am going to run as hardcore... Uh, in a hardcore mode, actually. The... As you can see, there's assisted, standard, and hardcore. The hardcore mode is more like the old Resident Evils in terms of... You basically have to use an ink ribbon to save. Ink ribbons are... Uh, uh, a finite, uh, finite resource, so you only get a few of them. You collect them as you go along. There's no auto saves, and the enemies are stronger. And if the second scenario is usually a little bit easier than the first one, I had a heck of a time with Leon running through hardcore mode on the first time because I wasn't really sure of the what the game was asking of me and and what it wanted you to do with ammo do you reserve it do you run through do you you uh you know do you do you preserve or do you hoard certain things health and stuff hardcore mode you're gonna die i am probably a lot the first time around when i ran as leon i ran on hardcore mode i got to a boss and I didn't have enough ammo so i had to restart yeah i'm almost there so this is basically from Claire's perspective. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. And she'll run into Leon throughout the game. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? What the? Don't shoot! Get down! Come on! So in the first part of the game, when I played as Leon, I you see how he was in the store? The well, basically I played as Wait, Leon in that perspective. So you were in the yeah. store kind of searching yeah, around. Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire! Claire, are you okay? I'm alright! How about you? Can't stay here. It's not safe. Happened to me the first time I Go played ahead. Resident Evil Zero. I'll meet you at the station. Ooh. All right. So that was kind of a short summary of what the cutscene and the first time I played it basically occurred. So it. Leon basically picked her up from the station. They both ran into each other. Um, and I've got her noir costume on. Forgot about that. Which is kind of cool. Leon, I'm sure you beat me here. So Leon never sees this part when you play through the first time. This little graveyard they got out back. This is all new to her, her playthrough. And you get split up. The lurking, lurking since kids are around. <laughs> it's all right. All right. So the map is kind of a new. Uh, it's not necessarily new. The there was a map in the old one. However, it wasn't as detailed in, as it is in this one. As you can see, the blue areas indicate there are no items to pick up. If there is a red area, that means there is an item in the area that you need to get. That hasn't been uh, nabbed yet. So, 
There's an item somewhere over here. Oh, right there. First ink ribbon. So you look at the map, make sure, yep, all the items. So that's the only item we need to pick up. There's a helicopter here, somewhere. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Okay, so I need a bolt cutter. Sounds like that helicopter didn't fare well. Red herbs, just like old school Resident Evil. Red herbs, blue herbs, and green herbs. Or herbs. If you are uh, from uh, England. I believe they call them that. Herbs. You mix them together, it creates basically something you can heal with. So, And when you're playing as Claire in the second run through, this basically takes place, I think, an hour into Leon's run. So when I played through it first, I didn't come across Claire outside this gate until I was an hour into the game and I had made my way to her. So she's lagging a little bit behind him in terms of time frame. As you can see after this, I imagine there's a cutscene. Yep. So when you come as when you're at Leon, you basically have him play as him coming out that door, seeing that wreckage. Claire, I, I'm doing good, man. Hold Just on. I'll be right there. Enjoying this okay. incredible game. Playing the second run through. Want to see everything from Claire's perspective now. Beat the Claire. Beat Leon's the other night, and it's fantastic. It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Well, madam. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. I like how they That's have good. time to flirt. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? There's zombies and dead people running around. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure mm -hmm. we're gonna find him. Claire. Oh, nope, he was in the chopper. He's dead. Um, Claire is Chris Redfield's you know sister. Yeah. So, from the first Resident Evil, Chris. Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. I love this game. I do too. It's fantastic. Claire, you need to go. They did such now. a good job just with everything the characters, story. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. No time for chit chat. Whoa. Really? Come on. Not even five minutes in and I already got attacked. Alright, let's use some bolt cutters here. You know, it is funny how everything stops when you do something, you know, the zombies, everything just holds. It's kind of, it's kind of goofy, but this game would be unbearable if nothing stopped while you were interacting with your environment, because you just get tore up. Let's see here. Okay, so these are the deluxe weapons. Courtyard key that goes back with this that goes to that. So let's do this. We're gonna store this, store that. Keep the bolt cutters, keep the grenade. Yeah, let's switch guns here. This is a gun that only shows up in the B scenario if I'm not mistaken. It's a six shooter. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, come on man, I don't <laughs> I don't have any life to be uh, messing with too many of you. All right, let's do this. I'm not a big fan. You haven't seen Claire's run yet. I hear it's it's a decent amount different. I mean, it's basically you're in the same area, but let's do this. I'm dead. Shoot. All right. Let's do that again. By the way, there's some graphic content, so if you have children, 
be aware. Spawn camper, I know, huh? I got, I got through the first part of Leon's relatively easy, but it's when they, those zombies, man, they're easy to avoid unless you uh, come up with a, come across a herd of them. Oh, I'm fine. I watch this game all the time. Oh, are you a kid? Are you a kid? Or do I know who you are? Sorry, I don't. I haven't, I haven't been streaming a whole heck of a lot, so I don't recognize the name. By the way, the other outfits here. So there's the normal outfits, which are these two. Alternative, which are the classic ones in the old Resident Evils, and then you have each character has their own individual little uh, alternative outfit. I'm a big fan of the noir one. Well, Claire's anyways. Leon's is alright. Not really a kid. I'm from dealing- oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, let's skip this. We've already seen it. I don't like the position they start you in right there. There we go. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Come on. Get in the door. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that. That. Alright, so let's put away that, put away that, put away that, keep the rest. That missed all of them. Alright. Get out of here. Come on. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Alright. I'll get the grenade placement next time, I swear. Ouch. Hi, Kibbs. get it. I will get it. It's so difficult. I did not have this much pro this much trouble. Now I'm under pressure. I got people watching. Alright. One thing I really like too is how the rain looks on these things, like on the different materials. I wish they ran faster. It's kind of a, a happy little jaunt when it, <laughs> I wouldn't be just I wouldn't be running like that. I'd be sprinting almost any place I went to. I'll stop watching then. Don't stop watching. It's not what I meant. Okay. So we saw that cutscene. We're gonna go through here. We're gonna pop a couple headshots in her head. Get through over here. How many shots do I got left? One?
Bless you. Go, 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 Yeah, there we go. It's a little tricky to get through there without... Use this key. Bless you. Alright. Bless you. Jeez. I got a stream full of sneezes. Obviously, something really good happened here. other half. Now if you played Leon's campaign you actually saw him get torn in half. And that was fun. There are certain rooms that enemies can't attack you. These rooms right here. Little safe rooms. Machine gun ammo, fuse. What do I need to discard? Oh, this is another feature that they added in this game is when you use a key and it no longer has a function or use, there'll be a little check mark next to it, meaning that you can actually discard that item so it doesn't take up any more space in your inventory, which is fantastic because in the old one, if you never played it before, you weren't really sure if you needed a specific key anymore. So you were lugging things around everywhere. Safe room has safe music too. Uh-huh, it's the best safe music. That, that. I need those. There was a board in there. I guess there wasn't. Gosh dang it, you're always ruining my fun. Alright, so... I know that there should be a... first aid in here. Someone else over here? Nope, guess not. But I saw something at the corner of my eye. Looks like a bad period. Looks like a bad period. Gross. You look like a bad period. Stupid delay. Not funny now that you're not in the zombie room. Well, there's blood everywhere, so it doesn't necessarily matter when. He's waving. <laughs> Just to make sure.
bolt cutters. That shadow kind of startled me. Let's go ahead and board this window up, because I don't need you coming in. That's another new feature in this game, you can actually board windows up. Ammo. Perfect. Ink ribbon. <laughs> what is he doing? Mm, door. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna take care of him. Now you notice the reticule that you, when you're firing, it shrinks. So when it reaches its smallest point, you have a chance for a critical hit, which will explode their head. And their head exploded. Mm. He's not, probably not dead yet, but that's okay. Any items here that I need? What is this? Gunpowder. Fuse box. Needs a fuse. And here we are. There's probably zombies out here. Oh, no. oh I hear something. guy. He woke up. Welcome to the party, dude. Hell is up with you. They also made the zombies... Oh, I thought he was still alive. They made their reach just insane in this game. They can, they can grab you from an incredibly long distance and it can be infuriating sometimes because you can't do what you did in the old one which was basically run by a whole bunch of them I mean you still can if you manage to catch them at the right animation but it's way more difficult and they're much more dangerous especially on the hardcore mode alright so we've got let's keep that, that, keep the bolt cutters there's a lot of hats left around here, too. I see them on tables and in the background. What, what's that? Oh, nice. Combat knife. That is going to come in handy. Combat knives in this one are basically an alternative weapon, so if you get grabbed, same with flash grenades. They can be used as a main weapon, basically thrown into a big pile of zombies if need be but they can also be turned, used as a secondary, which if you get grabbed, you can stab them, or basically is a way to prevent you taking damage, at least on one hit, depending on how many of them you have in your inventory. Just gotta cap them in the head and run for your life. Yeah, that's kind of the way you gotta do things. Usually what I'll do is I'll hit them in the head enough to where they'll fall down, and then I'll try to keep a knife on me as much as possible. And then, uh... Do that to them. To make sure that they're dead. I'm gonna need to make another trip. Yeah, I'm gonna need to make another trip back to the box. Jeez. I got too much crap. A lot of quality of life changes were made to this version, which is wonderful. Because I was afraid that they would be a little too genuine to the original, which they are for the most part. But there's a few things that, uh, that differentiate between the two, and they're just things that make things much easier to deal with. Enemies aren't like your map, you're able to actually keep track of, you know, what key is needed for what door. And as long as you sweep the camera across an item 
and it picks up that item that you and you you see it basically if it's in your field of view it'll show up on your map like you know if you need a green herb and you see it but you don't have enough room in your inventory that green herb will show up on your map the next time you look at it kind of like how you see that typewriter right there it'll just kind of show up Okay. Time to go out of the main hall. Anybody here? <laughs> Nobody here but us zombies. You dead yet? Jeez. I'm gonna mess up your pretty little face. I'm gonna leave that here for now. Leave that here. So as you notice, there was the first aid spray and the ink ribbon that we just saw. I didn't pick them up, but it will keep track of those, reminding me that those are there. Let's look at this security feed. It's uh, it's so big and ugly. It's cool that they kept that, that not part of the rescue squad. in the game, because that actually was in the original, but it was in a different area. And, I might add, an area that you couldn't get out of. So you basically saw the security feed of where you just were, and you saw him coming. You're like, oh, well, I'm screwed, because he's going to be around that corner when I show up. Uh, it's old Marvin. He's in Leon's campaign. Poor dude. Didn't make it through. What is this? Notebook. Why are you tearing out my pages, Marvin? Let's go ahead and get rid of you. Is there someone else? What the heck? Oh, she's upstairs, I bet. Come on, dude. It's gotta be rough on the neck. <laughs> Whoa! You jerk! You made me waste my knife. Dude, someone's having a fit. There she is. Man, you are just relentless. There we go. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna... I think I might just go around you. Um, this is the way I need to go, I think. Enjoy your time, lady. Where's that? Oh, shoot, I better kill her, huh? Dang it! Oh good, she doesn't come through the door. Alright. So, liquors. That is what they're called. They are incredibly not fun to mess with. You do, however, get a grenade launcher. Gosh dang it. I remember this being an issue. Um, so, they detect you by movement. But, there's really no way to avoid them. You just have to... Move slow. Hopefully. You just don't run or make noise and they won't get you. That's the first time that's actually ever worked for me, so I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. I've never been able to sneak by those things successfully. 
make sure he's not following me. And they have wonderful hearing, so if I start running, there's a good chance that he may hear me. The lighting and the sound on this thing is just so fantastic. Jeez! Holy crap, I don't remember that part last time. <laughs> Jerks. Alright. Well, it looks like the liquor didn't hear me, so that's, that's good news. Any, anybody else in here? Alright. And... Record of events. Returning the station to a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of citizens our top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. Refugees basically saying a bunch of people attacked. West side of the station, 12 people died. There was only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray here. I want to make sure I get everything here. Police station map. Go ahead and use these. So it seems like Claire has access to a lot of things much sooner than Leon did in my previous run. Like that, for instance. I didn't get that until a while. Boards are very important because if you don't board things up, the chances are that you're going to come back and run into something. I'm tempted to see if I need to... Hmm. Yeah, I might want to board that one window up. Just in case I have to... I don't want to be too loud. Let's board you up. Where'd they go? Decided you wanted to come out and scare me once and then just leave? Fun. All right, let's get flash grenade. I didn't have the option as Leon to come through here last time. Last time that room I was just in basically led you jump through that window and hop down. By the way, Dark Cheese, how's Kingdom Hearts? I heard it was pretty good. I think I'm going to take care of him, because I don't... Oh, come on. Look at that. How are you moaning without a mouth? Blew your head off. Take care of you. Man, I'm getting lucky on those crits. That's awesome. Saves me ammo in the long run. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, man, I needed to board that up. Gosh dang it. Great. Well. Whoa. Hello. Get your butt down there. Oh, go, 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 get in there. Jeez. Let's combine those two. Let's... Actually, let's keep a flash grenade on there. Let's store you, store you or you, and I can discard you. There's a light in here. Benefit of mixing herbs. Basically gives you a rundown on how to do that. More ink ribbons. Where 
did uh, the happy fellow go? Man, I don't know where he is. Oh, jeez. They're so loud. Son of a bitch! That sounded like they spoke. You guys are uh, costing me. Where are you guys coming from? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Jeez. Apparently he was drinking before he decided to come down and gnaw on me. Where'd you go, buddy? <laughs> come on. He's shy. Stay in... You... Bastard. You sneaky little dude. There we go. Okay. Anybody else want to come out and... Be stupid? Alright. More bullets. Red herb. Perfect. Let's mix you with you. Oh yeah, I had the uh, handle for this. I'm gonna go grab it. Uh, I think it might be a good time to take this guy out. I know there's someone up here. CM N or maybe it's D. There we go. Nice. Spade key. survivors basically let's see what it's saying oh letting us know that liquors are blind but they can hear you ammo ah forgot about that jeez Take care of him because he is going to be a pain later. There we go. Use that. So the detonator is used for this area. I'm going to go back downstairs to the inventory room and get the valve handle. good and dead. There's a lot of times where you think the zombies are dead and they will get back up when you at least expect it. They can scare the hell out of you. Alright. 
So we're going to get rid of this, 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 this. Keep those. Actually, yeah, let's grab that. Let me go check this office real quick because I think I can use that spade key to open up the door. That's not what I want. Leave that right here. One second. Jojo! There's more ammo. So that I can open this up. And by the way, I'm going to cheat and look these up because I've already done this numerous times and I don't want to do it anymore. Resident Evil safe codes. So don't judge me. I just, I, I don't want to have to search for safe codes. It was fun at first, and I just don't want to do it anymore. 9, 15, and 7 are the lucky numbers here. 9, 15, 7. Perfect. More space. Hip pouch. That basically gave me more inventory space. Operations report. Let's give me an idea of what happened at the station before you arrived. Rookies first assignment at Leon S. Kennedy. We're putting a very special case for the assignment. Your mission is to unlock this desk. Well, Leon's not here, so I think it's Ned. And this one is M R G. Those are the only ones I can remember. Speed loader. Nice. Hm. Oh, someone woke up. And use this so that that is now available. What are we missing in here? Gunpowder. <laughs> He's gonna wake up. And I think that is it. So you guys can uh, go do whatever it is you need to do, but I'm not gonna mess with you. Get down, dude. 102, 103, so I can do 106, 109. Let's do 109. I could use some ammo. We're gonna have to find those missing buttons right there. This way. Okay. This will shut off the steam and will allow us to pass through. Cap? I think I did. Oh, nope, I didn't. Flame rounds are for her grenade launcher, which, compared to the shotgun, is incredibly powerful. The shotgun, I, I can't believe how useless it is against liquors in this game. Gunpowder. Nothing. 
Man, stuff is everywhere. This is so cool looking. Jeez, the lighting and just the effects on this are incredible. Jesus, oh. stay back! Hello. No, go, go, go. Master. One of the few rooms that he can get into. He can get into pretty much everything else. Uh, I'm gonna combine you two. Three flash grenades. I'm not doing, not doing too shabby. Leon's memo, Claire. I hope you get this. This place is calling with monsters, and your brother's not here. Just get out of here as soon as you can. I really hope you're safe. All right. Thanks, Dad. Okay. So batteries. Internal memo. This is just telling us what the code of the safe is downstairs. But we already know that. Oh, for a second there, I thought he came in here. It's like, no way! Alright, so Mr. X. Or Tyrant. You can hear him, his footsteps coming. He is a pain in the butt. He is coming through this door, I think. Come on, dude, where are you? He's in, he's down in that hallway. Sounds like he's outside the store. Or, no, upstairs? Dude, where the hell are you? I think he's upstairs. Yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, there he is. Time for me to go. The safe rooms are also another room where he cannot get you. Seems silly, but... If he was constantly chasing you, it would be ridiculous. The first time... I played this as Leon, it got so annoying because you couldn't do anything because he was constantly on your butt. It's like an ex-girlfriend or a wife. She's not even listening to what I'm saying, so I think I'm in the clear. She's got headphones on. All right. Combine those. That can be used upstairs. Nope. Red herb. Let's combine you two. Store you. I need... I need to go get the grenade launcher. Because I'm going to need that. Very, very shortly. Ah, uh, man, I should have taken out the people out there in the in the library first. Actually, let's do this. Let's store that. Actually, take out. Where are you? Take out. We're gonna combine you two. Store, store. Let's store you. I think I'm good. I think I'll pick up a first date on my way out. 
But I don't want to go back that way because there's a liquor out there, actually. Hey, dude. You just, uh... Oh! <laughs> He's just enjoying the scenery. I didn't realize he actually stood in one place and looked around. That's creepy. I wish he'd leave. Pinpoint what, what direction he is. It's to my right. Whoa. Where? Where is he? He sounds like he's right next to me. I'm going to have to take out these guys. But it's going to lead him right to me. He hones in on noise, so he's going to be right behind me. Alright. Let's grab you. And you. Because we don't have much time. How's it going, lady? You should be coming through those doors anytime soon. No? Oh, he let me down. There we go. Code. Safe code. Let's look this up. So that I don't have to. 6 to 11. That's going to be for the gun I get later. Thought there was, I guess not. It turns a museum. So basically, that pamphlet was. I'm into a police station. This is a. This used to be a museum. Crap! He's right behind me. That's what I need. Side. Oh, jeez. There's a zombie there. Okay, that's where the fire went off. Please don't be out here. How did you get up here? I gotta finish you off quick though because Mr. Happy Pants is gonna be right behind me. Yep, there he is, up there. Oh, look at you. Alright, so it's time to go to the safe room. I got everything in here, didn't I? Yep. I 
should have went to the other one. That in there, put that in there, put that in there, put that in there, keep the rest of this stuff. Alright, so I got the key card. We need to go to that first floor locker room on the east side. I hate when they twitch, they twitch around, so it's. tell if he's above me or if he's near me. noise is going to bring the big boy over, dude. Come on. Alright. Got some firepower now. What? What? Pick it up. Great. He's behind me. Let's get this first aid. You'd be poking your head around any corners. Oh, it's a diamond. Oh, I thought it was a spade. Dang it. Yeah, what do we got here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to examine stuff. Come on. Such a majestic creature. Notebook with the missing page. So this shows her. This shows unicorn. Alright, so it looks like it's two people holding hands, a scale. No, it's two kids holding hands. A scale and something random. We'll just go through each one of them. See what we can find. Ah, there we go, snake. Sounds like he's in the library. So the library is a place that we want to clean out. He is somewhere really close. <laughs> somewhere above us.
So this is going to bring him right to me. I have to hurry. Where? Where is he? Shoot! go. I hope he's not outside this door. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Run, 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 run. He's right there. Ugh. Getting one of them out here is not a bad thing. Question is, do I want to... I should probably deal with her. She's... Bam. Nice. That's going to get his attention, though. Here he comes. Hi. Oh. I'm just a salesman for the big and tall store. Ah! No, what? Camera? Let's see. Um. Which way do I need to go here? I've got a medallion, so let's put this in here. Hold on, big guy. I need to put this medallion in here. This stuff needs to happen. Then I've got, so this can be discarded. My next stop is going to be upstairs, third floor, if I'm not mistaken. Uh oh, where'd the cop go? Whoa, nope, not that way. Ah! I'm sorry. There we go. So I'm going to develop this film. Because I'm probably going to need it. Lion statue. Alright. That... I think I want to keep my flame rounds handy here. Let's get rid of you. Let's keep you. Let's keep those. So I'm going to have to go to the third floor. He's just hanging right outside the door. All right, big boy. Okay, I want to make sure I got everything here. The armory, I can't get that yet. That's a diamond, so I don't have that. So, oh, I need the explosive. Shoot. That's all right. Too. Shoot. That's over. I need to go to the library for that, don't I? Where 
are you, dude? You going downstairs? You going upstairs? Is he above me? Okay, good. I think the library is the second floor. Is it not? Yes. Uh, I think he's on this floor, though. Big and ugly. Once you kind of get the hang of him and his pattern and... Oh boy. Ah! wonder if I can... <laughs> his weakness benches. I can't sit. Jeez, man, his footsteps are crazy fast. So I need this book. And I need to go second floor. You are, ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, they're gonna make that difficult on me. I thought she was dead. Speed up. Shh. Ah, you douchebag. Gosh dang it. Oh no. Go, go! Man. I think I can go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can go downstairs and up. I think that's what I'll do. Since he ain't gonna leave me alone. leads around, if I'm not mistaken. Shoot. I'm gonna be really hurting on... Combine. Yeah, give me that ruby. Oop, nope, examine. Turn around. Give me that. Now I'm going to combine you two. There's that star. Whoa! Jeez. Jeez. Come on. Oh, man. 
Oh! No! Hello! Good lord. What a mess. Leave me alone. Oh yeah, I, I've got the code for that. I need to do that. I'm gonna go get the submachine gun real quick, though. Aha! Yes, a knife. I'm gonna need that. Let's go here. So in case you're wondering, the Star's badge is actually, a, doubles as a USB drive. So if you look in the back of it, hit that, put that in this computer, and you are good to go. And we have ourselves a little machine gun, MQ-11. This is a letter from Chris. To my best of stars, buds. How are you doing in that drabble? Station hanging in there. Against the irons, me. Just got back a date with a hot chick. But you can guess what we're up to in this X one. Under her extra large umbrella. Basically. This does not sound like Chris. As she said, it doesn't sound like Chris because he's being cryptic. He's basically saying he's, do he's overseas. Uh, Doing something uh, on a special mission. Checking out Umbrella, who is an evil corporation in this game. Let's take this back. And that should be everything in here. So I've got the machine gun. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. I gotta go set the charges. Got to make sure. I got to make sure he's long gone. Because I can still hear him in the hallway. He's right outside the door. I can hear exactly where he is. He's right there. And he's going that way. And he exited out that way. But that's the way I need to go. I think. No, it's not. I hope I'm not wrong in his direction. Otherwise, I'm going to be walking right into him. So this part is going to be tricky. something. It's a creepy doll. And there's a bunch of noises. So this leads to the library, third floor. Okay, so I need to set this detonator. Once I set this detonator, it's going to alert everybody to my location. Crap. Whoops. Here he comes. I need to hurry. Come on. Um... What is it? Notebook with missing page. It's a ram, harp, and bird. Come on. Ram, harp. So as soon as I take this, a liquor. Oh no. 
Oh no, no! Oh! I didn't realize that. Ah, oh, shoot! That's right. Crap. This is gonna be ugly. That way, you dope. I still track me down, huh? <sighs> Shush, you're going to bring the dude. Statue, crown, flame, and bird. Where's Mr. Big and Sexy? Up. I need to get around you. And I'm not gonna waste any ammo on you. Right. Uh oh. Where? Oh, you. Alright. they can't come through here, so that's a good thing. This wasn't in the original. If I'm not mistaken, it wasn't in the original. This cool little secret hidden room here. I've been pretty dang good at conserving ammo, so... We're gonna need that. Let's put you away. Put you away. Put you away. You away. Uh, I'm gonna go downstairs and grab something real quick. And if this is anything like Leon's playthrough, you're gonna see a boss fight coming up here shortly. Examine this. Turn it back to a just a regular old badge. And use it if I can walk straight. Right there. That should be for my machine gun. Suppressor. I think that's it. That's all I need that badge for, so I'm gonna discard this puppy. That there we go. Nice, sexy. Okay. It's everything here. The boss is through there.
be Um, I'm not really sure what I should use here. Let's take two of these. Let's do that. A knife is going to be useless in that battle, but grenade will come in handy. Flame rounds will come in handy. Handgun ammo. Man, I don't have a whole heck of a lot of handgun ammo, though. Got a lot of submachine gun ammo, though. Man, I wonder if it's going to be worth bringing a handgun. Because I don't want to get stuck. Yeah, let's do that. I'm taking a big risk here. I'm not saving it. I'm just going to save it afterwards. Let's see how that pans out. Should have enough to drop him though. Hello? Hello, freaky Hello? little child. Creepy kid. Hey. It's okay. I won't hurt you, I promise. Do you need help? Here, you can take my hand. No, you need Sorry, help. I can't understand you. You need help. Why? He's right behind you. What? Oh, my ex-boyfriend. Oh, God. Looking healthy. Dude must work out his, uh, his right arm a lot. You know what I mean. You gotta be kidding me. Wards ain't gonna cut it into this room. Come on. That's what I want to see. Stop him for long at all. This thing's got to go down. Jeez, all right. The gun sounds cool. Don't know how much damage. Holy moly! so fast oh good 
Good lord. I don't remember him being this fast the last time I did this. Is that it? Holy moly, that was way easy. Man, that was a lot more difficult the first time around. Hey, thanks for the help, little girl. Hey, little girl. Get your ass down here. It's safe now. It's over. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. The man with the big arm is gone. I just need you to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? She's probably dead. I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Of course. I swear upon my I'll cleavage, help I'll help you. I didn't waste hardly any ammo. That was quick. So I am going to... Uh, crap. And I also over, way over prepared for this fight. <laughs> that sucks. Man. Because I'm going to have to miss some herbs. I'll probably come back here later. Do gunpowder, okay. <sighs> Kids in games always look like little adults. It's really weird. It won't move. I mean I guess she kinda looks like a kid, but you did you try it. the giant handle, you dumb kid? So what's your mom like? She, uh, she's, your skin, you know, it's peeled off. The big pharmaceutical company? My mom's always at work. I don't get to see her much. Well, hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. Odds are not. So where's your dad? He, um, worked with my mom, but he's gone. Wow. Both of my parents are gone. It's just me and my brother. Oh, Ugh. Yak, 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 yak. Didn't ask for your backstory, lady. Alright, so let's do... Let's get rid of that. That. Let's get my quick draw back. And the combat knife. Make some room for... I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? Both of our parents are probably dead. It's a wonderful bonding tool. A O A. Making my way. Get that.
Oh, you scared me. That can combine with that. And let's go grab this other green herb. And the reason why I'm doing this is because there is going to be... You can bet on that there's going to be a need for these items later. Healing items. Did I get everything? Yep. Gunpowder. All these things are going to come in handy. Or maybe I'm just over-preparing, but regardless. Dylan is not streaming tonight. <laughs> well, welcome back. We just beat our first boss. Whoop. I'm very tempted to save it, but... Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and continue with what I have, and we're gonna see what happens. You're just as good, though. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. Hmm. An empty garage. I wouldn't want to go in any new room if I was in this situation. Come on. Whatever you say, it's kid. Closed. Don't have a key card. Damn it. I need a key card. I recognize this place. So did you play the originals? Here, come out. Or did you Or is this did you play the this actual remake game? Because yeah, this was in the original. The parking lot was. And you're sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. Brave little girl, leave your house in the middle of this mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. Oh, it's... You can't be serious. Escalate quickly. On the ground. Now. Sherry, tie her hands. Why are you doing Shut this? up. Tie her. That's a rude man. Okay then. You tie her up now or she dies. Trusting a little kid to tie. I mean. What's this all about? Child endangerment for starters. I've never played either. I just love how it looks. Sherry. I bought Oh. Come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. You heard her, I swear to God, my brother is stars and I will fuck that! Sherry, get over here. What's your name? It's a really good game. What's your fucking name? I'm a poor boy. Claire! <laughs> yeah, you and me both. Sherry, you come with me now, or say goodbye This happened to just Claire. be a Christmas okay, gift, okay, early I'll Christmas go. gift, so... You better or, well, be taking late my Christmas mom. gift? I got Absolutely. a gift card, basically. So that's what I used it on. Stop hurting her, please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop! Let me go! Let me go! Obviously, nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Go, yes, we will. Let me go! Let me go! I'll get you, you fucker! Oh, she's cranky. And that guy's a douche. Stay safe, Sherry. All right. So, this garage, okay. anything like the old one, is going Key to be a pain first. in the butt. And then that asshole gets what's coming to him. Because there are a lot of dogs in this area. I think that's where. Wait a minute. Must be where that guy came from. Go get that sad excuse for mail. I will. Bastard is the. He's a jerk. 
Please, okay, so chief. map. I need a diamond key. Okay. I can get that. And I've got a feeling I'm going to have to equip this grenade launcher. All right. What do we have here? Okay, well, I'm not going to go that way. Hey, gun range. Equipment disposal. Okay, so the key to that car right here. No wonder No wonder he's locked that No wonder he locked that guy in Leon's story. <laughs> oh the Oh yeah 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 the other dude that's in the jail. Yeah, I wonder if he's I wonder if he's uh that guy's gonna be in Claire's story. I'd probably not, but I don't know. I don't know if you're gonna have access to that side of the building. Nice, more grenade rounds. Am I missing anything in here? I have a feeling that those two aren't going to stay dead. Another diamond key needed. Sorry for my bad, my bad grammar. Keyboard is... Hey, hey. Bad grammar, that's not a... Trust me, not a big deal. I'm full of it. I don't even need a keyboard. Oh, crap. God, I hate those things. Liquor? Yep, exactly. Right there. Let's light this bad boy up. Nice. See, in Leon's um, campaign, Leon's section, his... Whoa. Crap. Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no. Move, move, move. Ah. Jeez. Come on. I'm not taking any risk with you, man. There we go. Holy crap. That startled me. More, yeah, more? I know. Uh, in Leon's campaign, his equivalent to the grenade launcher is essentially the shotgun. So... It, but the shotgun doesn't do crap to those guys. This is, the grenade launcher is a much more effective weapon because of the burn damage that it does to them. Oh, it looks like they killed all the dogs for me, so that makes me a happy camper. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Heck yeah. That's a great, great weapon. Did I miss anything in here? Nope. I'm assuming we're going to go get the key here shortly because I can't really go anywhere. There's got to be a diamond key around here somewhere. I bet they had a good meal, yeah. Well, their meal uh, worked to my advantage. Bunch of autopsy reports. Alright, looks like we're in a morgue. So I am going to... I guess we're going to be checking this out one at a time. Nada. A morgue in this situation would freak me the crap out. Ooh, okay. Come on. This thing is slow to reload, but man, does it pack a punch. Be right back, gonna get some food. Awesome. I think he's dead. <laughs> There's the key. What? Oh, I was gonna say.
Whoa! Just gain a burst of speed right there. Jeez, the zombie had his Wheaties. You stay down, buddy. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a knife. He's dead. I'm back, I just got some water instead. <laughs> no food? Food sounds good right now. I know it's like 8 o'clock, but... Well, hello, Spaz. <laughs> she looked like she died seeing something terrifying. Probably did. Alright, let's go ahead and put you back in there. She seems better equipped. Oh, Claire? Yeah. Her... So far, I've had a much easier time. I've been able to preserve ammo. I've been able to gather a lot more health items and not use them because I have better ammo to take care of the situations that I'm that I find myself in. I am not going to have any room. Sure, that's just. Hey, cockroaches! What difficulty is this? This is hardcore. It doesn't seem that bad, honestly, though. Like I said, it's just. I'm gonna have to come back for that. I don't have any room. I want to try to speed run hardcore one of these days because of all the you can get uh, a bunch of ammos like a minigun and unlimited ammo and just a bunch of cool things but it's really difficult oh oh boy Jesus. oh no There's no way you survive that. Really? Three? That's crazy. That's hot. Man, I didn't I think it would take so many shots. What a waste of ammo. Uh, okay, so I wonder if there's a... He just tanked a three. Yeah, I know, huh? Three of them. That usually doesn't work out that way. Those things usually drop in one. Maybe two. Alright, so this will get the elevator working. Why is the key... Why is the key just being pressed when I'm typing? <laughs> okay. Ooh, nice. Oh, but it's gonna take up more space. And I don't have any room. Man, shoot. Well, wait a minute. Doesn't this lead up to, uh... Here, I can come back down here, actually. I think this leads up to... The Chief Iron's office, which I believe has a save uh, typewriter in there and an inventory box. Yep. This is an email that, if I'm not mistaken, so WB is William Birkin. He's one of the scientists that created this thing. He's basically. You, find out that the chief is corrupt and he's under the payment of William Birkin. So let's store you. Let's store you. Let's store you. Let's store you. That, sh that should be enough. I also I also love how you don't swear. Yeah, I try not to. Honestly, I mean if if I if I do it's very little. Um, that's just something I never, honestly, I've never really done. 
because not that I have anything against people who do, but you know, that's not usually my thing. White-tailed deer, male, approximately six years old, length six one. Please tell how it turned out. Maybe getting tired of working with these puny things. Maybe time to move on to more challenging animals. Siberian tiger, male, approximately four. So basically, these are all the things he's hunted. Length nine foot six, weight five hundred twenty-nine pounds. Slice his yellow belly open. Ugh. Pig, female, twenty-two years old. Place of capture, Raccoon City. Length five foot three, weight one hundred ten pounds. This specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over, and it's all mine forever. That sounds like he killed a woman. He's, yes, it's probably a crazy, crazy man. I'm the same, I don't swear. But if you swear, I'm fine with it. Yeah, no, if you hear me swear, I, it's, it's, I mean, maybe damn is probably the, the, the worst one. I, I, I don't, I just don't do it usually. So sometimes I'll, it'll, something will start me and I'll, I'll swear on, startle me and I'll swear on accident. But I like to keep it clean. <laughs> That's very common. Where is... So, okay. We need to go back in here. Because... I... Need... These guys are gonna wake up, aren't they? Yep. There they are. Let's see if I can... Hurry up and get in here and get out before they break through that door. Got that. Hurry, 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 hurry. Got that. What am I missing? Am I missing something? Oh, that's everything. Nice. I'm getting out of here. Later, losers. So what did I I got a film roll? I don't need to go back there. Did I leave anything? There's something in this hall I didn't get. Oh, the morgue and morgue. That's what I need to get. We need to go. Because there's a red herb in there. There's a blue herb right there, but I don't ever use those things. Although they might come in handy if Claire ends up going in the sewer. Like Leon did, because there's those poisonous... Poisonous things in there. Alright, so Morgue is now item free. What a bloody mess down here. Jeez. What the heck was that? <laughs> Sounds like something's in the piping. You know what? Let's get this just so that I can say. I cleaned this area out. Yep. So I'm going to need a handle or something to get in that area over there. Did you get that stock for the grenade launcher? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. I've got two red herbs. Oh, wait. Shoot. That, too. I need, there's a... I gotta use this key because that unlocks the trunk, which there's a, a cool gun in there, but I don't, I go empty my inventory. Jeez. If you really want to collect everything in this game, you really need to manage your inventory. And it's going to take some time. need a pouch. I know, we're, there's a second one in the... I need to find all the... well, another one. Yeah, there's a... there's a... another pouch in the locker room inside the police station that I need to find the two buttons, which... one I can get right now, actually, because I have the diamond key. One's in... The, one is in the main hall with the star... where the star's room is, and the other one... I don't remember where the other one is, but I'll, I'll 
I mean, I'll stumble across it. Okay. That, that. Let's store you. You, I no longer need. So let's discard you. And let's just get rid of you for now, because I don't... I do not want to have to come back again downstairs just so I can collect all this stuff. I think there's a total of four pouches that you can get. Each one of them adds two inventory slots to your, your inventory. Which, there's one that I need right there, and I think the two others are located later in the game. In, like, the laboratory. Yes, I am playing on PS4. Um... It, it looks really good on a PlayStation 4. It, I've seen it run on a PC, too, and that looks beautiful. So let's combine the stock. Ah, look at that beautiful thing. Oh, now it takes up two inventory spaces, so that's lovely. Even more inventory crap that I have to worry about managing. And the gun, and that's all I need. This is a cool gun because it has got a red dot sight. Yeah, yeah. And all these creepy noises in the background. Sound like something's gonna sneak up on you. I think that's everything, yeah, everything. Oh yeah, and I have a extended mag for this this weapon too. It's in my it should be in my storage box. It should be right right there. So combine. Look at that extended magazine, twenty six rounds. Go check out this next room in here. Wait a minute. Oh, that requires a heart key. Hey, there's his tiger. Now we are cooking with gas. So what? Where is repair shop? Okay. Relief. I know exactly what that is. Nope, that's not what I, who cares. Examine. Look at that. Heart key. We need to come back with those parts for this room. And Where's his pig? Oh, the, the woman that he killed. Um, in the old one, she was, like, right on his desk. Like, right there laying on his desk. Um, in this one, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm thinking we're going to come across her. And it's probably not going to be pretty. So let's move you there. I believe there is a section, though, where you play as Sherry, who's the little blonde girl. Um, perhaps you'll come across... Okay, so this is back where we... This is back where I was. On the other side of that fence, right there. That's where the helicopter crashed earlier. I should probably... Probably save it, right? I've not saved once this entire time. This is probably as good a time of it as it well. Maybe I want to check downstairs first. Let's check downstairs first. Let's see what we can find. This is probably gonna be a bad idea. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Leon's story. I don't get scared by stuff, so I'm fine. Well, good. Oh. Hi there, pretty guy. 
Oh, crap. Crap. I don't have any boards, do I? Shoot. Hopefully I left in time and he doesn't break through. Because I don't want that window to be open. Then again, I don't really come down here. Do I have any boards? There she is. I want to know how she runs like that and heals. Especially down steps. Alright. Let's board you up. Handsome. Alright. later. Oh, I think one of the buttons to get the extra pouch is actually in here. <laughs> Let me out. That's, that's comforting. I only have three spaces left. I'm guessing there are going to be liquors. You, uh are 100% accurate, because in the old game, the liquor bursts right through that that mirror. So, I... There we go. He's coming. I know he is. Hey, there he is! Whoa. doing up there. Die. Wow, really? There's our best friend. He ain't my best friend. Is he? I love liquors. They're so creepy. You want one as a pet? Yeah, I don't think that would go over well, man. Dead? Yeah, there we go. Wow, what a crappy way to. <laughs> Looks like he's in like the fetal position. You are ugly. Shoot. I don't have enough room. Well, actually, wait. No, I'm gonna have to remember that that's there. I would give him a coat. <laughs> Some pants and shoes and a nice collar and walk in. You, yeah, you'd probably need to put him... You need to dress, dress him up really well because uh, the moment people saw him, they would probably run away in terror. a little bit too aggressive for a pet. So examine. Wait. Where is the... Th oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Dang it. <sighs> Dang it. I'm gonna forget all this crap.
<laughs> nope. My mind is too tired to deal with this right now. Okay, now I got it. I got it! Wait. I'm so con confusing myself so much. Not that one. There we go. Jeez. I have the memory of a gold. I yeah. Well, same here. Jeez. Okay, so that's gonna come in handy later. Let's store that. Let's go check upstairs real quick. Cut his nails too. <laughs> You'd have to. Jeez, there's so many extra items. Okay, so that meets out by the wreckage. The little fella burn. He gets a human head for a tree. Not my human head. I teach him <laughs> and teach him to do high fall. <laughs> that would be tricky. I'd be impressed. So we got everything in here. Those guys are dead. Uh, that leads to oh yeah, that leads to the third floor. Oh wait, there's a gear. Don't have enough room for it. He knows that now. <laughs> he does. He'll remember. Jeez, I only have one. shooting those bobbleheads do oh uh i think it's just a trophy i think that you get well an achievement you know what I, i'm not really sure or maybe it's like you get an unlimited knife i don't remember there there is a reward for it i just don't i i don't remember what it is i found a good portion of them that one i'm surprised i missed before Is, that's, I'm gonna need that later. Let's get my quick draw thing out real quick. Oh, I'm betting you will find the, <laughs> the pig soon. The quote pig. Probably. Let's store a knife. There's a good chance. It, we're gonna come across that. So I need to go downstairs to get the gunpowder real quick. One. Oh, forgot, I don't have the key to that. That's kind of silly that you can't get in that side just because you don't have the key, but you can just hop on over. You should also be able to unlock it from this side, which is kind of dumb, but yeah. What do I know? 
Oh, well, no, it's because Leon gets through there. That's why. That's why it's made like that. Because Leon doesn't get the hard key. In Leon's story, who's that huge guy in the black coat that follows you? Yeah, he's actually in Claire's story, too. I just... I've gotten past the part that... That, uh, that deals with him. He... He's actually going to be coming back as soon as I get back into the... More into the... What the heck? More into the police station. Like, gets back to the main area. Okay, so I need to get the gear. What's his name? His name is... In the old one, his name was Mr. X, is what people called him. They also called him Tyrant. Like, I think his official name is Tyrant, like, 1007 or some something like that because he was created unlike the zombies who are, are people basically that turn into zombies because they were bit or whatever he he was created in a lab and the history behind him is he was created in, in, in a factory and they basically released five of his tyrant class of zombies basically and they, they dropped them throughout the city this one's job is to track down any witnesses or survivors in the police department. So he's, his job is to track down anybody and kill them. That, uh, anybody that gets in his way. I'm back. Kids are in bed now. Yay! I was just explaining what the tyrant, that big guy that follows you around, what his, his deal is. Imagine having him... As Imagine having him as a story. You mean like playing as him? That would be kind of cool. It'd be it'd be a new twist on things. That's for dang sure. Okay, so we got a large gear. So I need to. I need to go outside. So upstairs through the door. That's great. I stopped listening to you. About five minutes ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> are you being sarcastic? I can't tell. It's hard to tell via text. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Okay, gotcha. Oh, okay, so the tyrant is the big guy that follows you around, also known as Mr. X. He was created in a laboratory, and there were numerous versions of him. I think five of them were created, and they were dropped on the city. Raccoon City is what the city's called. To hunt and track down anyone who... Who, uh survived basically they're basically exterminators they go through they kill any witnesses they clean everything up and then they leave smile where's the other guy shit come on I'm a giant nerd, and I know about these things because I played the old one extensively, and then... Yeah, you learn about that kind of stuff. It's kind of cool. I mean, the story gets incredibly obnoxious in later entries, like 4 and 5 and 6, which 6 I didn't even play just because it was too action-based. It wasn't even horror or survival horror anymore. Jeez. Dude, I'm killing this playthrough. I've got tons of extra stuff. Oh, basically what I did was I hit that lever that reroutes the water to that pipe right there. So that way when I press this lever, it puts out the fire. Hey, Perrin, want to meet my pet liquor? That's what one of the <laughs> that's what one of the creatures are called. They're called liquors in the game. 
and he wanted a pet one. Very aggressive. Very, uh, not so good. It wouldn't make a good pet. Oh. All right, then. <laughs> I won't be going that way. Jeez. Uh... Oh, he climbed the stairs. Very aggressively, by the way. See how he grabbed that chair? Or he grabbed that stairs? The stair thing? The, why can't I think of it? Ladder. Jeez. The cool thing is... He can't go in this room, so... I'm golden. Yeah, those aren't stairs. Yeah, uh, ladder. Sorry. Yeah, I've seen Leon's story. I remember this part. Here comes the big guy. Yeah, his he does that really early in Leon's story, which it kind of messes with it. I mean, you don't really think about it too much because technically Leon and Claire's story are supposedly going on at the same exact time which certain things happen where you're like, oh yeah, this I can see how this would go on at the same time. Other times you're like, that doesn't make any sense in relation to you doing that in Leon's game. Um, but whatever, it's a video game. Because technically she's behind Leon, so she's like an hour behind Leon, and Leon would have already seen the tyrant by now, therefore the helicopter would have already been out of the way, whatever. Whatever. So. Those aren't, how do you kill him? You don't. Um, you actually, there's a boss fight with him later on in the game. But in terms of like right now, how you deal with him, you don't. You, If you want to stun him, you can throw like a grenade or a flash grenade or shoot him in the head. And it kind of like stuns him for a little bit so you can actually walk by him. But in terms of actually putting him down for good, you can't. In the old one, he actually... F well, in the old one, he didn't follow you around relentlessly like this. So in the old one, he couldn't go through doors because the technology didn't exist, basically, for him to actually walk into a room and stalk you. Um, so he would only show up in certain parts of the game as you're, as you're going through. But it was still terrifying because he would just show up unexpectedly. This is actually more terrifying because he can just follow you wherever you go. And his footsteps are incredibly creepy. And... Ink Ribbon. Wait, I have more than four Ink Ribbons. Oh, <laughs> I maxed out my Ink Ribbons. I've never done that before. Actually, let's... Wait, do I have a... Alright. Let's save this bad boy for the first time. I've gone this entire time without saving. Let's see. Let's go... Let's create a new one. What time is it? 8.16. <laughs> Games. Yep. Alright, well, I think that's going to do it for me tonight. I think I'm going to call it a day. But I will continue playing. I'll continue where this legs off. And I think from this point... Um, I'm not really sure where I need to go, honestly. I'm probably going to run into Sherry again. But, oh yeah, yeah, I need to basically find the key card to get out to get to Sherry. Anyways, um, I will see you guys later. Thank you everybody for watching. Perrin, I'm not really sure. How do you pronounce your name? The Pip, Ip, the Ip, the Ip, Ip, the Ep. I'll just call you Ep. It's it shortened it up a little bit. So, again, thank you for watching. It was fun, uh, fun chatting with you. Thank you for being so involved, Ep. I really appreciate it. So you guys have a good night, and I will see you next time.